So let's continue with our local search project. So last thing that we did was we got this key, but uh, we didn't do anything with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and then use this inside my metadata tag. And the name of this was com.google.android.maps.v2.api key. So that's the name value is again right here. Copy that and I have my value. What else did we add? If you remember, we added internet permission and we added two more permissions, users permission. Uh, the first permission was access network state. And the next permission was users. Oops. Did I miss anything? Uh, users come on users permission and i need the right to external storage so it can save data locally once i have that i'll need some permissions of my own so i have to create a permission based on the app that i have so let's give this here yql apl dot permissions uh, dot maps receive so that's one and uh, this needs a protection level of signature so that's one of the permissions that i have to create and now i have to use those permissions so i'm going to just say use this permission right here and i need one more permission which is which comes from google's uh, documentation oops com dot Google dot Android dot providers dot GSF dot permissions dot read underscore G services. So that will take care of all the permissions. I'll also probably add the users feature because I need OpenGL. So let's say GL ES version. Uh, it's 0x00, zero zero, zero, I think uh, three zeros and 20,000, so version 2 and above required. True. Yes, it is. Okay, let's edit this properly. Okay, so I have everything. I also have added my key. The only thing that is left is, I guess, I'll have to add a metadata specifying the Google Play services that I need. I'm going to say name equal to com dot google dot android dot gms dot version not sure why doesn't it complete automatically value equal to at the rate integer come on google play services version perfect let's see if it actually works yeah there you go so google play services the so next thing that I had to add here manifest that should take care of everything that I need on the manifest now let's go back to our results where I am going to not results but detail where I'm going to display a Google map so I'm going to just use a Google map object and create a local object with this and Google map once I have that I'm going to go and check if I have my uh, Google Play services available. Let's see if I can uh, add public class uh, Google services available method. And inside this, the first thing is I'll have to create a Google API availability object API equal to Google API get instance of that. Once I get the instance of that, I can just check is available this is just to check if uh, Google Play services is available or I can get Google Play services from somewhere just to check so I can just say is Google Play services available pass the context next thing is if is available equal to connection uh, I think it's connection result connection not request a result dot success then I'll return 
true. Yeah. Sometimes I have to see what I'm typing. Else, if so, okay, I said. Yeah, as I mentioned, I need to see what I'm typing. API dot uh, is user resolvable error. If the user can get out of it by downloading or doing something, then I can just say dialog dialog equal to API dot uh, get error dialog and pass the con pass this is available and then it needs the activity is available and request code I'll pass zero to it and then just say dialog dot show this will show the dialog else worst case what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show a toast message so just display a toast message and uh, at the end of it return false so that should take care of my Google services availability check. I've also added a fragment. Have I added a fragment? Yes, I have fragment over there. I called it, let's call it map fragment. So I know the name. And inside my on create method, added everything. At the end of it, I'm going to say if Google services available, if the service is available, then I'll have to that means google services are google maps are working and then if it's working all i have to do is initialize map in here now what is this initialize map it's a function that i'm going to write of course so i have my initialize function here inside my initialize function i will say first of all uh, get the map fragment map fragment equal to uh, get fragment manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot map fragment and cast it once i have this i'm going to say map fragment dot get map async then pass this to it so that means i'll have to make this guy implement on map ready so this will be called when the maps are ready and when maps are ready all i have to do is m google map set it to google map that i get back so this will set up my google maps let's run this and see if i get any error or still working fine i hope details activity i have my where are my results the result is coming here so just checking stuff say food current location search click on this and my google map is displaying it's perfect right now because i have not added any markers or any location base so google maps is working uh, so next thing that i have to do is let's see so i've got the details the result object let me declare it outside because i might for some reason i think i might need it to get the latitude and longitude from it so first of all as soon as my maps are ready i need to zoom into the latitude longitude so i'm gonna say lat long uh, ll equal to new lat long and i need latitude and longitude now that is something that i get from result dot latitude and result dot longitude so i have my latitude and longitude i can update my camera update get my camera update object and say camera update factory dot new lat long with zoom because i wanted to zoom it to a particular location give the lat long and zoom of let's say 18 zoom it right to the store or maybe inside if possible and then i'm going to set m google map dot animate camera to this particular location so let's see if this displays me that particular location if i have that displayed next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just take them take a marker and add it at that particular location let's see food current location search fabulous 
and there you go it's zooming into green belt and we are on green belt road perfect now let's add a pin over there i think 18 is way too much let's change this to 17 a little bit out a one level outside so it will more look like this or maybe two level three level so that's 15 now once i have this let's add the marker now to add the marker i need marker options options equal to new marker options give a title to it something let's say i have the result object so i can just say result dot title i can give a snippet to i'll just give the phone number result dot phone and uh, then I can give the position based on the lat long so that's something that I created here I'll just pass that position and then do I need a custom icon I guess I'm fine these objects these things are fine now next thing I have to do m google map dot add marker and I have my options pass this let's see if our project is running perfectly food current location search fabulous food is zooming in and my map is there perfect website is below and go to some other lo location zooms to that location i have my website there perfect looks good if i only want to add something else that will be a progress bar when it's downloading things which i can add right here inside the downloader so as and when it's downloading for i equal to zero i can update the progress since it goes only for 10 objects i can just hard code right now and say uh, publish progress i if i multiply this by 10 since it's 10 objects i'll have 0 to 100 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent so that means i'll have to go back to my layout file for the results and add one more small thing at the top and that is the progress per horizontal make it full screen okay i'll have to hide it when the results activity is running so i can just say inside here inside my results activity let's create the progress bar progress bar progress bar progress bar equal to find view by id r dot id dot progress bar so i have my progress bar now to set the progress bar i'll have to create some methods public void display progress bar want to display the progress bar i need one to hide the progress bar now when i open it initially i'll have to make sure that progress bar is hidden so i can just say set visibility view dot gone instead of doing this i can just add it in here and call hide progress bar right here and do something here where it's visible so hide and then next i'll have to set the progress of the progress bar so i'm gonna say set progress and this will have an integer value progress i'm gonna say set progress progress what is the problem here maybe it's set progress bar progress uh, maybe, maybe my method was interfering with something else but that takes care of everything so as soon as the downloader runs let's say on pre-execute do in background before that on pre-execute I'm going to say activity dot uh, show progress bar or what was the method that I added just now display progress bar so I'm going to say display progress bar that's the first thing that I'll do <laughs> next thing do in background so it's already displayed from here publish progress and so that means I need on 
progress update and I'm getting the values I can just say activity dot uh, set progress bar progress and I have my integer values I'm going to say values at zero this is call that one again here I can check if values of zero uh, I can check here or I can actually check there itself so inside my set progress bar I can check if progress equal to 100 then I can just say hide the progress bar because I know the, the data is already there or I can do it somewhere else in draw list view too because I know that it's there so that should take care of the progress bar I'm not sure if I'm missing anything let's run it and see if it does display the progress bar on the top here food current location search and there you go progress bar went all the way to the end but it just stopped at the end because I guess it goes from 0 to 9 so it goes to 90 and then doesn't do anything after that so I'll have to go here and make sure this goes from plus 1 multiply by 10 this will go too fast so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the thread sleep just to see the progress bar run this food current location search see that went and then there you go if you want to see more of it increase the time limit that's what I would say so this will show me but the, the thing is it happens very fast so it's very difficult to I mean that's to see it in such a short while now every second one two three four five six seven eight nine it will go over and then display all the results outside in a second there you go that's how this works now it's up to you how do you want to set this up I've set it for only 100 milliseconds just to see the progress bar just to show users something is happening but by default you should never do something like this because that's bad practice only if there is a slow data download or so data processing it will take its time and display the progress bar but other than that it should be pretty fast for you so let's say food current location search one last time this food thing works perfectly fine so that's our application our complete application that we built from scratch up using the yql uh, api